with a wish your heart breaks when you're fast asleep. <laughs> guys welcome back to my channel I am Magic Liriana and today we are going to be doing a Universal Studios tag now I wasn't tagged to do this video I just did it because I felt like I wanted to I thought it'd be pretty fun and I also wanted to do this video because I will be going to Universal Studios in a few days and I'm very excited for that so be on the lookout for a future video after this one and let's get right into it. So basically, this tag has 12 questions and obviously I'm just gonna answer all of them to the best of my ability. The first question asks, how many times have I been to Universal Studios, Orlando, or Hollywood? So I've never been to Universal Hollywood, but I've been to Universal Studios, Orlando about eight times. And my very first time was back in 2008. And then the last time I went to Universal Studios, I actually went to Islands of Adventure, and that was back in summer 2020. So that was like August, basically. Um, and I actually did do a vlog on that, so if you guys want to check it out, I'll leave a link to it in the description, or you can click on it whenever that little box shows up. Have I ever been there when a new ride was open? Um, I never ever like been there when a ride has opened um i'm looking forward to the new velocicoaster that is going to be opening up in the summer but i don't think i'm gonna go there opening day either especially like since like the climate that we're in right now in the world and i think i might wait because i know like the line is going to be unbearably long so i'm just gonna wait until the hype dies down and then i'll be able to go on a ride i think the only ride i haven't been on that at universals is probably um Hagrid's and hopefully I get to go on Hagrid's on my next trip in a few days. So I'm looking forward to that The next question asks if I like butterbeer and of course I like butterbeer. I Honestly, it's just a very great drink to have around in the park and just sipping I know like we can't do as much like drinking and eating around the parks now because of the pandemic but it's honestly a very good drink to have around especially on a hot summer day. I usually get like the cold um butterbeer which is amazing i would also like to try like the other versions that they have it i think there's like a frozen one and then there's like a hot one i don't know that that hot one sounds weird but i mean i'll give it a try um what is my favorite time of the year to visit universal and why um even though i've never been during this time of the year i like universal when it's christmas time um i just honestly adore the decorations that they have throughout the park and they have Grinchmas and I love the Grinch especially like the live action Grinch he's such a mood and honestly I hope I'm able to go during Christmas season again I always usually go to Disney for Christmas but I'd like to change up the scenery this time I also like it during Halloween Horror Nights I've actually been uh, it's pretty fun so and I can't wait for HHN 30 later this year what do I think Universal offers that Disney doesn't and what does Disney offer that Universal doesn't and I think obviously the obvious thing is the roller coasters like they're more intense now I'm kind of in the middle with roller coasters like I'll go on the Hulk but I won't go on Rip Rocket and like I tell people that all the time and they look at me like I'm crazy of like I don't know I mean I'm still kind of like iffy about roller coasters but then at the same time I'll go on it but it's just I guess like it's the adrenaline of going on a roller coaster it's like a love-hate thing like while I'm on it I'm freaking out and then like when the ride's over I'm like yeah that was amazing like you know that's what I like about Universal roller coasters I mean yeah Space Mountain is intense but it's not like as intense as the Hulk and what Disney offers that Universal doesn't is just magic. I don't know, it just feels, even though they have the wizarding world of Harry Potter, I still feel like Disney is just, there's just this magical thing about it that I can't explain, you just have to experience it, you know? And it's just the best part about Disney. What is my favorite restaurant in City Walk? I honestly don't really eat at City Walk like that. Um, I've only walked in it, so 
I haven't really like sat down and ate. I mean, I did remember like going with my friends last year and we ate at like one of their restaurants, but it wasn't, it was just a main street, a mainstream restaurant that you could eat outside of the parks anyway. So it's not really like, it's not really special, but I would like to explore more of City Walk and try their different dining options in the future. Uh, the next question asks if I've ever been to the Halloween Horror Nights and as I stated previously I have been to Halloween Horror Nights and my very first time was back in 2019 um and that was really fun I went with my friends I yeah it was my friend's birthday and we like went there together and we did all this the houses and everything and it was so fun it was so scared like I think like three houses got me and I've never felt that way before like any of those like haunts like regular haunts that I've been through I've either like been monotone or I've been frightened but I wasn't like screaming like it was so funny and it was it was amazing can't wait to go later in the year when it happens I will totally be there question number eight asked um my favorite Harry Potter attraction and bonus what is my Hogwarts house so my favorite Harry Potter attraction would have to be um what is it called Escape from Gringotts but then I also like Forbidden Journey I think those rides are I mean that's probably the most basic thing to say but like those rides are so amazing especially Forbidden Journey I just like the feeling of like flying and everything was really cool and I don't know it just every time I'm on that ride I'm so mesmerized because I'm like how it just I just actually feel like I'm flying I love that element of it and my Hogwarts house is Ravenclaw um I actually did take like a sorting hat quiz a while back and I was actually surprised because I thought I was more of like a Hufflepuff because I'm like I'm always that loyal friend that'll help you out and whatever but then I also could see why I got into Ravenclaw so I I'm not complaining <laughs> okay, question nine asked if I had ridden any crazy roller coasters such as the Hulk or the Rocket. So yeah, um, I've ridden the Hulk. I was literally dragged on to going on that during grad bash um, with my friend because I was like, I think like my junior year I was like talking to my friend and I was like, oh yeah, I've never been on the Hulk because I've been scared to go on. It just looks, it looks fine on the ground, but then it also looks very intimidating. So I was like, I've never been on it. And then my friend was like, well, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to take you on there and there's no questions asked. You're going to, you're going to go on it. You can't back out. There's nothing you can do. And let me tell you, this man kept his promise because he would not leave me alone until I got on that ride. And let me tell you, so that ride was, it was scary, but I loved it. Like I was screaming the entire time while he was laughing. And then my best friend, she was also scared. We were just freaking out. It was, it was a mess, but I loved it. It was just great in the end, but I feel like I'd go on it, but I wouldn't go on it by myself. I would definitely go on it with a group of friends because I'm not I'm not I'm not ready to do that single rider line. Question 10 asks, what is my favorite memory of Universal Studios? So as I previously mentioned, I my favorite memory of Universal Studios is going to Grad Bash 2019, fifth class of 2019. I'm so glad I was able to experience it, even though I've been to Universal's a few times before that, but there's just something about going to Universal's or any theme park in general with friends. Like, it's like a different environment. You all are hyped up to do everything together, and I feel like it's more coherent, especially if you go with the right people. I'm, and I love going to the theme parks with my family, but everything is just like, everyone is willing to go on anything, basically, and it's just more coherent. So, my favorite, and it's my favorite memory because like obviously we're all seniors so like graduation year you're just hanging out with your friends at a theme park for who knows how long doing whatever whenever the lines are short you can get on rides just like that you can go on so many things like several times and I they have like really cool merch and I actually got the grab bash 2019 shirt it's really cool um and I love it it was a really great time I enjoyed it and I would honestly love to relive that again. Question 11 asks, have I been to Volcano Bay? And if so, what is my favorite ride? I have not been to Volcano Bay since it is open. I was originally supposed to go, but that plans have changed, so I was unable to go. All right, and the last question asks, have I ever stayed in a Universal Studios hotel? And if so, which one? I've only stayed in one Universal hotel, and that was the Low Sapphire Falls 
one and I think I stayed in there when it just op not just opened but it was fairly new so that was back in 2016 and that resort is beautiful um uh we had a great view of the park I it was most like we could see basically um Dr. Doob and Ripsaw Falls um, from our windows, so that was pretty cool. I enjoyed staying at a Universal Resort. It was really nice. Um, I liked the theming because it's like Caribbean theme, and I appreciated that it's a low sapphire because sapphire is like um, my birthstone, so that's pretty cool. So that's extra points for that hotel. But honestly, I would love to stay there again. Uh, I haven't really ever stayed at a Disney resort, so um, that's kind of shocking. But I've walked around, I've resort hopped around many Disney resorts, uh, which is pretty fun. And I hope I get to do that again soon. Okay guys, well that is the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it and what I had to say about Universal Studios. I'm so excited to be going to Universal Studios in a few days from when this video is being recorded and uploaded. And be on the lookout for that vlog. Please make sure to leave a like on my video if you like this kind of content. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my adventures. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on my adventures. And I hope to see you guys real soon.